It is often convenient to represent the level of mechanical energy graphically, using heights, to facilitate visualization of the various terms of the Bernoulli equation. Each term in this equation has the dimension of length and represents some kind of head of a flowing fluid. First one is the pressure head. It represents the height of a fluid column that produces the static pressure. Let us visualize this pressure head in a more practical way. So for this, consider tiny fluid particles flowing inside a tube. This fluid particle creates pressure inside the tube. And if there is any hole, the water will leak because of pressure. But if we fit a piezometer tube here, the water will rise against gravity to a certain height and by visualizing the site, we can easily calculate static pressure. OK. Next term is called the velocity head, and we can easily visualize this with the help of P-TOT tube. When it is fitted, the water particles get trapped because of its small cross-section area and reduces the particle velocity to zero. This effect Increase the water column to additional height, and this additional height is called the velocity or the dynamic head. Remember this additional height is related with the velocity of water, and hence we call it velocity head. If flowing water have zero velocity or the water is not moving, then there is only static pressure head. So keep that in mind. Look! You have already visualized static and dynamic head on P-TOT tube. Now the last one is the elevation head. So, let's visualize it. Gravitational head is the height of a fluid particle placed above a selected datum. You can select datum anywhere, above or even below. In the end, it is just related with final value minus initial value, and value appears same whatever datum you choose. Now let us apply Bernoulli's equation in terms of head, on two sides of the tube between, point 1 and point 2. We choose the datum at point 1, so z1 is 0. For water to flow in x direction, the pressure difference must be greater than 0. So static pressure P1 should be greater than P2. And finally, P2 is lower, so velocity V2 must be higher, because of low pressure, and high velocity relationship, so velocity V2 is greater than V1. Did you notice, the whole Bernoulli's energy that is total head for the flow remains constant. And if you sum up every hands, of left or right equations, you will always end up with total head, no matter which point you choose. Please subscribe for more fluid mechanics. Next topic will be about energy grade line and hydraulic grade line. So stay tuned.